My name is Jason Yudlovsky, and if you record gameplay videos that have you speaking, as well as your gameplay audio all on the same track, I'm gonna show you how you can separate that out so you can work with the audio separately, really quick and easy here in DaVinci Resolve 19. So let's jump into it, let's go. If you're a gamer, you are gonna love this tip, and I've gotten a lot of comments on this in the past. Couple things you need to know. You do need the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. If you don't have the studio version, you're not gonna have the tools that we need in order to be able to do this. The good part of that is that it only costs $295 US, and if you edit videos often, studio is the way you wanna go. It's got so many more tools, it uses your GPU, it runs better, go with the studio version. And just so you know, if you don't have Resolve Studio, it's a one-time payment you're done no subscriptions no nothing you buy it once and you've got it for the rest of your life with all of the updates and everything so you need to know that you need studio looking in resolve here i've got a clip in the timeline it's the clip you saw in the beginning of this video where we've got the gameplay music as well as the dialogue it's all in the same audio track and we want to separate those out so we can work with them separately so the first thing that we need to do is make sure you're in the edit tab here in davinci resolve then we want to duplicate our audio track. So if we hold our Option or Alt key, we can select just our audio track and keep holding your Option and Alt key, and then you can drag it down and it'll automatically create a new track for you. I'm gonna go ahead and just rename the tracks by clicking on the name here, just so we can stay organized and we know which audio track is for what. Call the first one Dialogue, and the second track I'll call Gameplay. So let's work with our dialogue first. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute the gameplay track. So what I wanna do is select my audio track for the dialogue. And to do that, you're just gonna click down in this area anywhere. You don't wanna click over here because that's selecting your clip. You wanna click off your clip and then over here on the track. Next, we wanna go up to our inspector, which is right here. And as long as you have your audio track selected, you're gonna see this right here, which is our track level tools. Now we've got voice isolation, and this is only available in the studio version, but we're gonna to wanna to use this to isolate the dialogue of you talking. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. Now when it comes to voice isolation, you can grab the slider, move it right here, You can pop it out right here like this and work with it this way. It's the same thing. Now, when you're using this, you may not need to crank it all the way up to 100% like this. What voice isolation is gonna do is gonna help lower the volume of that gameplay that's in the background of your dialogue. Now, one quick note is that if you have talking in your gameplay stuff, and you're talking at the same time the gameplay is talking, the voice isolation is gonna isolate just the voices in both, okay? So keep that in mind. You may run into some issues if you have talking in the gameplay audio itself. But if you've just got the music, the sound effects, and like, you know, what's happening in the scene of your game, this is gonna work out perfect. So you wanna listen to it and dial this to wherever you think it sounds good. Now, it's okay if you hear a little bit of the gameplay sounds in the background, that's perfectly fine. So let's listen in and I'm just gonna crank this up until I think it sounds good and is where I want it to be. My name is Jason Yudlovsky and if you record gameplay videos that have you speaking as well as your gameplay audio all on the same track, I'm gonna show you how you can separate that out so you can work with the audio. All right, so 43 right there, I think that's pretty good. Now you can still hear the gameplay audio in the background, perfectly fine. You don't need to get rid of it all the way because it's going to be in there anyway. So the way it sounds right now is perfectly fine. If you did want to isolate the voice completely, crank that guy up, crank up the voice isolation up to 100% if you need to, and it's going to get rid of everything in the background. It does a really good job at isolating your dialogue or your voice. So I think that's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and close that. Next, we want to mute the dialogue track and let's work with the gameplay sounds. So in the gameplay sounds, obviously we hear both, right? me talking and the gameplay sounds, and we wanna remove my talking. We wanna remove the dialogue so that you don't hear it. And to do that, again, we're gonna use a track level effect. So I'm gonna make sure I've got my track selected right down in this area. I'm gonna come up to my inspector, and this time we wanna use the music remixer. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Now you can use this in a few different ways. You can grab the voice, bring it down to minus 100, you can mute the voice right here, but you're still gonna get a little bit of bleed through and it may sound a little choppy. So take a listen to this. If I leave the voice cranked all the way down or use the mute voice option here, which are both the same thing. All right, so completely remove my voice, but the gameplay in the background, it's a little eh. 
not as good as it could be. So in this case, same thing. I think it's okay if you've got a little bit of the dialogue coming through just so that it's not cutting out your gameplay sounds too much. So I'm just going to play through it and bring the voice slider back up a little bit just so that we can make sure it sounds a little bit smoother and it doesn't sound choppy. And I think that's okay. That's going to be pretty good right there. So now if we play them both together, I'm going to unmute my dialogue. We can adjust the volumes of each one individually if we want. We can adjust it on the clip right here. You can use your faders right here in your mixer to be able to boost and lower your volume of the two tracks. Let's just take a listen on how that sounds. My name is Jason Yudlowski, and if you record gameplay videos that have you speaking, as well as your gameplay audio all in the same track, I'm going to show you how you can separate that out so you can work with the audio separately really quick and easy here in DaVinci Resolve 19. So let's jump into it. Let's go. And there we go. We've separated out our dialogue, our gameplay sounds, and now we can blend them however we want. And we started with everything combined in one track. Works out really well to separate things like this and use these two brand new tools here in DaVinci Resolve 19 to be able to make this happen and make it so that we can edit it how we want to. Now, I've got two more bonus tips for you, because if you're trying to separate out your dialogue and your gameplay sounds, you may want to know how to make it a little bit better. Now, when it comes to your dialogue, I do have a ton of videos on how to make your dialogue sound awesome, so you can check those out. But let's say you want your gameplay audio to be loud when you're not talking, and then you want it to duck under or lower the volume underneath the parts where you're speaking. DaVinci Resolve can automatically do that for you as well. So taking a look back in Resolve here, if I go ahead and select my gameplay track, I'm gonna click on my Music Remixer to close it up. I wanna turn on this right here, the ducker. And this is gonna duck the audio below whatever track it's listening to. So I'm gonna turn it on. And in our ducker here, we can select a source. In this case, we wanna use our dialogue track. So you select the track name that you want your gameplay, in this case, to respond to. So when I'm talking, the volume will get lower. Now, if you do have more than one dialogue track, you're gonna have to do it a different way, which is you know a little more advanced for th this video. You don't need to worry about it. But if you got your dialogue in one track, you're gonna go ahead and select your track. And then all you're gonna do is adjust your duck level settings to a place that sounds pretty good when it ducks under the voice, right? If you open up the advanced settings here, you can change some of these if you want. One thing I'd recommend actually is just moving this look ahead a little bit. So that's just gonna tell Resolve, hey, look ahead a little bit further and make sure you're ready when the, um, the gameplay needs to duck below or lower the volume below the dialogue. The rise time real quick is how long does it take to drop down? The hold is how long will it stay at a quieter level once there's no more dialogue. And then the recovery is how quickly does that volume go back up after there's no dialogue. So let's just, I'm gonna boost up the rise time just a little bit. So let's start with our ducker here at 2.7, which is the default. And then I'm gonna boost it up and you'll be able to hear the difference. Start at the beginning and let's just go ahead and play through. My name is Jason Yudlowski, and if you... Rec oh, it helps if I reset this. We're going to make sure it's a little loud, just so that you guys can hear it good. And let's go ahead and play through. ...that out so you can work with the audio separately, really quick and easy here in DaVinci Resolve 19. So let's jump into it. Let's go. So you can see that it lowered the volume good there. Now, just the way I recorded this, there's not a lot of uh, audio from the gameplay music after. So let's just say I'm going to make a little adjustment here so you can hear the difference. So once the playhead gets to this point where the dialogue stops, that music should go back up. So let's just give it a quick listen here. I'm going to show you how you can separate that out so you can work with the audio separately. Okay, did you see our levels shoot up there once the dialogue was done? So the ducker is going to automatically do all of that for you. It's going to raise the volume, lower the volume around your dialogue, makes it really quick and easy to use these couple of tools to help separate out dialogue from gameplay sounds and then have your gameplay get quieter underneath your dialogue if you want. You can adjust it however you want, so you got a good balance there. Now, if you wanted to continue to blend things together a little bit more, you can use your faders over here, right? And just adjust your dialogue a little bit, adjust your gameplay a little bit, make it sound however you want, give it the volume that you want, and it should be really easy to edit either part, your dialogue or your gameplay now, and you should be good to go. So I have one extra tip I want to give you here about getting your dialogue to blend with your gameplay music a little bit better or your gameplay audio, sound effects, whatever it might be. 
I'm an audio guy. I love Fairlight here in DaVinci Resolve. If you're not familiar with it, it's where you can do more in-depth audio work. So check this out. Jump over into Fairlight, the musical notes at the bottom here. And if I wanted to blend things together a little bit more, make a little space in my gameplay for the dialogue, I'm going to click on my gameplay track. We can see that it's track number two here. We're going to make sure our mixer's open. Here's your mixer at the top. And in our gameplay track right here, we can see it's highlighted. I want to open up the EQ. Now, the EQ is going to be able to do a lot of stuff for you if you need to make your dialogue sound better or even work with your gameplay audio a little bit. In order to make some space for that dialogue, you can grab point four and just drag it down. Use your middle mouse wheel to open it up a little bit. And you want to drag it down somewhere in this 800 to 2K range, somewhere around there. And that's going to create some nice space within your gameplay audio for the dialogue without competing frequencies. It's going to help reduce some of those competing frequencies just so your dialogue is clear, comes through a little bit more, and you can keep your gameplay audio a little bit louder there in the background underneath your speaking. So that is how you can separate out your dialogue and your gameplay audio here when it's all combined in one track using DaVinci Resolve 19 Studio. If you're a gamer, was this helpful? What other audio kinds of questions do you have? Happy to make videos about them, share my knowledge in audio with you guys, and uh, I always love a challenge. So when there's something new with audio, I like to get in there, dig around, figure it out, and uh, just help you guys make your audio sound awesome so that people want to watch your videos. All right, if you have questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments down below. You want to learn a little bit more about editing dialogue and audio, check out my Audio Essentials for Video Editors in DaVinci Resolve course. I'll link it down below too. And uh, if you want to learn more, you can check that out. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Because I, I actually hit record this time. You know, the last time I recorded the whole thing, I forgot to hit record on the camera. I mean, come on, dude. How many years you've been doing YouTube? You still forget to hit record sometimes? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Let's go edit this video for you guys. Let's go.